we start with a with a rather shocking um, statement that cement is nine percent of global emissions of CO2, nine percent, and that's 2.6 billion tons per year, approximately. So we are we are the biggest individual sector, together with iron and steel. Utilities is obviously a very broad topic. It also relates a lot to construction because a, a lot of that is the, the power, the heat, the water, the cooling in the buildings which are built from our products. And our products, often cement, very closely related to iron and steel in, in, in buildings. But I think what, what still shocks me 20, 21 or 22 years in, into the industry is operational performance is still very poor, be that industrial performance and commercial performance. So I think the industry can already do a great deal just through improving the performance to reduce that 9%. There are then some new proven technologies, we'll touch on one or two of them as we go through, which can also take out quite significant amounts of CO2 from our industry. Then it gets tougher, then it gets more complex, then it gets, uh, it ultimately becomes many different levers you have to pull in order to, to, make, to make progress. So just, just to give some uh, flash information, I won't dwell on this because it's perhaps not topics that you're particularly aware of, but on, the, on those two charts, you look at the green and you look at the red. The green is the best industrial performance, either one of those charts. One is overall CO2, the other is thermal energy, which is the biggest controllable uh, source of CO2. So those green sides, you can see for the last since 1990, so for the last 30-odd uh, years, there's been not much progress at getting better at the best end. On the worst end, there's been, where the red circle is, there's been a lot of progress. That's basically old plants closing down. But what's rather surprising is, with all the new plants built, the big modern plants built in, in the third world, we haven't seen a bigger advancement in, in the green sector. So we look at a couple of other points. The, there are, when you make cement, you make an intermediate product called clinker. And all the factories in South Africa, they produce clinker. They then mix the clinker with gypsum, which is a, to get the process happening and with what we call extenders in order to reduce the amount of clinker per ton of cement or cementitious because that is the most critical factor. And what is, what, what is quite shocking is the lack of progress of the, the, the lack of progress that we see over the years. If you look at the energy consumption. You can see the energy consumption, the average has come down from 4,500 to 3,300 more or less. Now, PPC sitting at 3,600, it's quite dependent on your portfolio, your historical portfolio of, of plants, but it's also how you, how, you run, how you run the business. Alternate fuels. There are many plants in the world using alternate carbon zero or carb, low carbon fuels, biomass, industrial waste, etc., running 100% on that. But if we look in the middle chart, the, the very middle chart there, we see that there's still less than 20% substitution globally. People are just not yet serious enough. And if we look at the clinker to cement ratio, in other words, the lower that percentage, the better it is, we see an absolute platforming over the last 10 years. So we've got real issues on the ability to reduce some of these numbers.